Hello, my name is Kalen Chalk. I am a concept artist working in video games and film, and today I'm going to show you guys how to draw a car using Sketchbook Pro. So let's get started. Some of the tools we're going to be using today is the marker tool, the pencil tool, the freestyle strokes tool, and the line tool. So before we begin, we must make a new layer. Go to your layer editor and hit the button add new layer. From there click and hold the layer to access your layer tools and go to rename layer and we're going to rename this rough lay-in and click OK. After that we're going to make sure that the line tool is selected and we're going to make a basic perspective grid using the line tool. This will help us with perspective when creating our car. Once we have the basic perspective of the car, we will then use the freestyle stroke to begin drawing in the rough design of the car. Now that we have created a basic box using a perspective grid, we will now begin to lay in the basic shape of the car. With the pencil tool still selected, we will now switch to the freestyle stroke tool and we will begin laying in the basic shape of the car. We will use the box that we have just created to help us with proportions and perspective. While drawing the basic design of the car, you do not need to worry about how accurate and clean your lines are, because this is the rough lay-in. We can be messy with our drawing because later on we will be drawing on top of the rough lay-in to fix any mistakes we might have. All that is important now is getting the basic proportions of the car and figuring out what kind of car you want to draw. In this stage, you can be as creative as you want. When designing your car, it is okay to draw outside of the box that we made earlier. Because this stage is the creative stage in your drawing, we want the box to simply guide us, not confine us. So if you find yourself going outside the box, that is perfectly fine. While doing the rough lane, it is important that we draw through the form. What that means is that even though we may not be able to see every particular part of the car because of its angle, it is important that we still draw it as if we can see through the car. This will allow an accurate placement of parts of the car, for example, the tire or the side view mirrors. At any point in time, if you want to make the pencil tool bigger or smaller while drawing, you can use the bracket keys on your keyboard. If you want to select a different color, you can go over to the Copic library, hover over the color you'd like, and simply click.
Once we are done with the rough land drawing, we will go to our layer editor and lower the opacity of the drawing. This will make the drawing less transparent. From there, we will create a new layer on top of that and begin to create a more clean line drawing that we will use for color later on.